What's up, guys? I'm gonna share my screen. Share my screen. Bring. I just ate a really sour orange. It tastes sour. It's okay. Shifter says, back on the bond coin grind. Yeah, dude, what? Shifter, did you do the reading challenge, bro? Dude, you were so close to getting, like, I think I'm going to give top four for prizes. Shifter, you would have been top four, dude, if you did the reading challenge. Yeah. You were so close, Shifter. You did so well this tournament. I was very, I was very, I was very pleased with you, Shifter. <laughs> yeah, I think top four. It, I was going to do at least top three, and now I'm feeling generous. I may do top four. Top six would be excessive. Like, this is supposed to be a mini tournament, not a big tournament. <laughs> what up? Who's in the chat? Who's in the VC? Yo, it was good, go. Yo, is that Obama, dude? That's dope. What's up? I have problems talking to new people. That's why I didn't do it. Oh, it's okay. I'm a new... I mean, you talk to me. I guess you don't actually ever really talk to me, like, in person, though. But I see. I see. Totally. Got you, Shifter. You know? Well, that's that's actually a good thing to, like, kind of, like, work on getting over, you know? You're always going to have to talk to new people in life, you know? And everyone here is pretty friendly. Like, Al is, like, one of my one of my best friends. He's a really nice guy, you know? Nice Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. All problems are things oh. that you can deal with. What's up, Obama? What, what do you think are the chances I end up with the B? Like, my whole sophomore year in a math. What uh, do you think? I, don't you have, like, a high C, bro? I have a low C. I thought you had a high C. Nope. I've never got... I'm getting a high C. <coughs> well, 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 don't you, don't you get something in, like, a new... Isn't there a new semester? Like, don't, don't your grades, like, kind of reset next year? Well, every, well mm, yes. Like, right? two weeks after. Yeah. So yeah, just just get a B. Just yeah, just you're not gonna end the year so with a B. Far, if you already have a low C, yeah, you're not gonna end the year with a B. But like, you may end the school year with a B. You know that could happen. Well, and my my GPA, it's so ass cheeks because my freshman year I, I got know. I got C's and D's. So What's up, Nick? Two point nine. Two point nine. That's not bad. That's like that's that's like a that's like a B. A little bit less than a B. No, that's but I get all A's though. Now I have all A's in every single class. That's good, dude. Except nice. Except math. Except the one thing this Discord is supposed to help you with, which is math. <laughs> Why don't you let me help you, dog? Well, but like, come on, I did improve, though. Yeah, I know, I know. What's up? I'm when will the prize run right probably? Okay. Good. You just need you just need to get an A in math. Which is an impossible task. So I it is not impossible, dude. I can help you, dude. Please. It's like asking some some like infant to be like the next un infant. Infant. Are you say like, infant? What the fuck is an infant, dog? What? What games are you playing? We're gonna play Roblox. We're gonna play Roblox. Today's Friday. Friday's Roblox. Where's I need, this kid? I need to be like, yo, yo, where's a is a is a is a is a Zaya demon dude? Well, grim zone. Okay, cool. All right. How is it luck? There is a little bit of luck. Yeah, there definitely is luck. I didn't win off luck. Oh. Hello, gold. Yeah, he's saying the drawing. The drawing is luck. There is a little. There is. What's up, Graham, dude? I. I what's up, dude? We were saying that. I, I was about to say, like, if he was saying that, uh, my me winning is luck. Then like. No, it's hard work, dude. Yeah, good job, good job, dude. Can you give me a spot in there? Can you give me a spot? Of of course. Give no, me a spot. don't give. Me <laughs> hydrate, spot. dude. Thank you, dude. Oh. I gotta hydrate. I'm playing oh, Warzone two with with Obama. That's cool, dude. I was playing Warzone two uh, on Wednesday, I think. Hmm. Wait, gold is top four. Yeah, I think it's gonna be top four. 
It's not it's definitely not top six. Top six is for regular tournaments. This is supposed to be a smaller one. Yeah, WTF? Yeah, what? Well when I, I, I originally said it was really gonna be just like top three. <laughs> oh, it's top four? I think I'll make it top four. I think I'll be nice. I'll make it top four. Al Al ain't letting me do the lame ass reading prize. Well, you 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 missed him twice, you know. This is a lesson for you and Ran. Like what? And you missed him because you were sleeping. What? That's not a like going to the hospital. Well, that's yeah. a, that's a legit excuse. Whatever you had to go to the hospital if your aunt she had kidney stones, I'll believe that. But like, if you missed it because you were sleeping, dude, like no, no. Yeah, but but you still missed it due to sleeping. Ran missed it because he was playing video games, and I'm just like, I'm like what? Like Al is a very busy guy. Like he does a lot of things. Like he he's it. it he has to go out of his way to like schedule those times to meet with you guys to like talk about the stuff. And if you don't show up, that's just like super rude. Like don't do that. I should I should I should low key take away points for I'm that. Sure I'm, I'm his favorite. <laughs> I'm his favorite person for real. Oh, that's good. I did nice, it. Dude. I did it in four minutes. Four minutes. Like, wow, I, didn't cool. even, I didn't even need 15 minutes. I just did it in four minutes. Told him all the answers real fast. Did everything yeah. I needed. What do you do? Is it like a multiple choice? No, uh, he just he just asks you questions about the paper, dude. It's very easy. Yeah, it was very easy. So can, can you just write like notes down? And then just like... Or you can just look back at the paper if you if you don't remember anything. Oh. Yeah. No, that was... Uh, also, dude, Nick's complaining about top six, bro. I gave you a laptop two months ago. Don't don't complain about prizes. <laughs> yeah, don't. Yeah, don't don't complain about prizes, okay. Nick. Please. You yeah. You can't complain when you got the. Yeah, prizes. you got the laptop last time. Don't complain about prizes. Yo, what's up, weirdo void? What's up? What's up? what's going on, bro? Here, let me introduce the stream like, real quick. I've had a headache all day. It's I'm sorry. I I hope your headache gets better. Anyways. Uh, where's, where's, where's it? Okay. Welcome everyone, off Welcome everyone to Office Hours. My name is Dr. Gold. This is Actual Education. The stream that helps you out with math homework, science homework, all types of fun stuff. Yeah. Lots of cool stuff. Uh, anyways. It's Friday. Hell yeah. Right? <laughs> Teacup deserved the laptop. Uh, <coughs> what is up for grabs? Modern Warfare 2 is definitely up for grabs. It's, because it's a war, it's a war zone tournament. I think I also have an Xbox Wait, controller. Wait, is the prize drawing today? Yes. No, no, no. The prize oh, drawing man. will be Monday. No, prize drawing will be Monday. No, I'm, I'm talking to Weirdo. Weirdo says, can I send a question? Yes, yes. Yes, yeah, so you can send one. Uh, if you want to upload a photo of it, you can do it in our Discord. That's how everyone's talking here, Weirdo. If you want to come talk with us, like, so I can, like, teach you with, like, talking, which is a lot easier than just text. Uh, You're just weird, Weirdo. Just join our, just join our Discord. In what channel? What uh, office hours. What a weirdo. Shaq says, I was streaming today on YouTube and I had like three people in my stream from yesterday come today and like it was super talkative. That's dope, dude. Nice. That's dope. Build a community. That's what it's all about, dude. What else? Uh, controller. Uh, there's an Xbox controller. It's gonna be grabs. a flex to no Shaq, bro. Like, in a way. If I, I, bought, you, I, I bought, bought you back, Obama. Obama. Once he's famous, bro. Once he's famous, dude. All right, uh, let's see. Who asked the first question of the day? Well, Shaq is famous. I better get, um, I better penguin get, like, did. best person. Penguin asked a lot man. of stuff here. What the hell is this penguin, dude? The following two-column proof with missing justifications? Wow, this is ridiculous. What? <laughs> oh, penguin, if you come in the chat, I'll help you out, dude. Uh, teacup discontinuities again. Yeah, discontinuities are cool. Where do these lines not connect? What, what do you mean, where do these lines not connect? Um. Oh, that's cool, Shaq. Yeah, dope, dude. Bro, yeah, you got a community, dude. Got All right, it. chill, 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 Grim. Don't, don't, don't put your hot mic on on the fucking stream, please. <laughs> yeah, we can say more wild stuff when we're calling alone. That yeah, was, yo, there, you know you there you go. There you go. There you go. You, yeah. If you guys, yeah, if you guys want to go play Warzone, go play Warzone. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, semester doesn't reset. It's tears. Teacup, you in the chat? Teacup, you in the chat? You in the chat, Teacup? Where's my Teacup? Yes, hello, I'm here. What's up, Teacup, dude? How's it going? Oh, I'm first. I thought someone asked before me. Uh, Penguin did, but I don't see him in the chat or anything, so. Um. Oh. Anyways, okay. Find the points of discontinuity. What are points of discontinuity? Let's see if we remember. Uh, 
graph isn't they they don't connect. The line on the graph is not there. That's that's true. The line on the graph is not there, right? Yeah. You have a, you have a discontinuity if like you have like a, a line and then like some shit just breaks and it does like that. That's called like a discontinuity. It's when you have something like oh dude like it was supposed to hit here but it didn't. Yes. When did discontinuities happen in functions though? When do they happen? There's a special. Why the hell if you do negative a over x, it makes one. Oh, uh, not quite. I'm not tired of it. No, no, no. Discontinuities occur anytime you di you divide by zero. Anytime you have a function dividing by zero, that causes a discontinuity. Okay. Indeed. Indeed. So. What I want to do is I want to figure out from this function, I want to figure out when, like what values of n cause this function to divide by zero, right? So how, how would I do that? Well, we got to do n in 6, we got to find what n is there, and then we got to do the n squared plus n. Good, n we're going to do this. Yeah, if we figure out when this, when this thing equals zero, and we figure out when this thing equals zero. Let's do negative 6. That's good, easy. GG, nice, good. Minus six, n equals minus six. Yes, that's one point of discontinuity. The other, one, the, other one's a, the other one's a bit more complicated. Okay, the other one is a little bit more complicated. How are we gonna do this one? Let's see. Bob. We have to, it has to minus 15. So whatever it is, it's gonna to have to subtract by 15 and get it to be zero. Or you could be lazy and do something with the way of that lazy. No, it's good, it's got to, it's got to multiply to minus 15, it's gotta add up to two, right? So you have two what things. And they have to add. They have to multiply to minus fifteen, and they have to add up to two. Well, let's see. So let's say we have two n, two n. Let's say n is equal to. No, no, don't worry about n is equal to. We we, we want to factor this. Do you see how this was an easy factor to figure out? Like, right? This is very easy. This is just n equals. Yes, thank you, Shaq. Shaq got it. Uh, minus three and five teacup. Do you see how minus three and five multiply to minus fifteen? Yes. I mean, minus three and five add up to two. One and one is equal to two. One and one is equal to two? No. Minus three and positive five is two. One plus one is equal to two. That's correct, but I don't care about one plus one equals two. <laughs> well, negative eighteen plus uh, well, well, negative eighteen plus twenty equal two. Okay, but why is that relevant to this question? I don't know. Negative okay. 0 5 does make 2, though. Yes. You want two numbers that multiply to this number, minus 3 and minus 5 multiply to minus 15, and you want them to add up to 2. Minus 3 and plus 5 add up to 2. Do we see that? So does the number not even matter? We're, we're going to check. We do have to check it, actually. So this is going to simplify to this. It's going to be x minus 3 times x plus 5. This is called factoring. This is what factoring is. It's very important. Yeah. Okay. All right, now that I factor this, now do you see how you can figure out like which one of these will work? So what what values of n will cause this to equal zero? I'm losing brain cells. Losing brain cells, dude. It's Friday. What? So negative three squared is negative nine. No, negative three squared is positive nine. <clears throat> you can just look here, teacup, teacup. What value do I... Or first of all, this isn't X. Sorry, this is N. My bad. Um, what value of N here causes this to equal to zero? T cup. Yeah, Sam hello. says... Yeah, you back? What happened? Oh, I just needed... I sent you something in Discord. Okay, what do you mean? You DM'd me something in Discord? No, 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 it's in office hours. Uh, oh, office hours is very clogged. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, yeah, okay, 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 yeah, all right. There's a difference between minus 3 squared and minus 3 in squared, okay? Yeah, I know. If you do this, this will be negative 9, uh, right? This will be positive 9. Parentheses, yada, yada, yes, anytime you plug something in, you have to put the parentheses, yeah. But why are you saying negative 3? Well, I was doing it, and then you just killed me off. So, I mean, we do it now. What are you doing? Explain to me what you're doing. Being lazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because the negative 3 squared makes the 9 plus 6, and then minus 15. And no. that's 15 minus 15. Two times, two times negative 3 is negative 6. 
and then minus 15. This is not zero. Oh yeah, I guess you. I'm lazy. Okay, deal with it. All right. Well, let's right. let's let's not be lazy. You know, if you want to ask a question, you can't be lazy. Otherwise, I'll skip you. I'll go to the next one. Like, you you have you have to be involved. <laughs> I'm technically being involved, just not doing math correctly. Okay. All right. No, okay, teacup. We took this and we factored it into this. Do you see how it was very easy to figure out what value of n caused yeah. this to be equal to zero? Gold. What's up, Graham? Question, okay. Okay, well. Okay. I've done the math correctly this time. Okay. So negative five squared is to twenty-five, correct? 20, twenty-five. Yes, yeah, good. And plus the 2 times negative 5, it gets you 15. So minus 10, good, gives you 15. And then and 15, 15 minus, minus 15. 15 is totally a negative 184. No, it's zero. Zero, good, yes. You can also see that, Teacup, this is really fucking easy to see here, dude. Like, do, do you see how, like, no, you I'm just not, need... No, to, just look, look for a second, Teacup. Look for a second, yeah. Look, you just need this to equal zero, right? You just need something here plus 5 to equal to 0, right? So I'm saying n plus 5 is equal yeah. to 0. What plus 5 equals 0? Negative 5. Good, done. That's one of them, right? n equals negative 5, okay? What about this one? <laughs> what minus 3 equals 0? Mm. It's a very tough one here. I think it's a uh, 3. <laughs> Good. That's Chewbacca. Okay, these are your solutions, dude. These are where the discontinuities happen. Now, technically, you need to check the top to see if, if the top would, like, cancel any of them. Because, for instance, if I had x minus 2, and let's say, like, x plus 3, and then x minus 2, these would cancel because you have the same thing on the top and the same thing on the bottom, right? And so that, that would not be a discontinuity. That's called a removable discontinuity. Okay. So what do I need to do to, to factor this top thing? How do I factor this? n squared minus 16 n plus 63. T cup. T cup. And n, n, n times the. Uh, I'm dying. Okay. Uh, okay. You want to say what multiplies. Okay, what multiplies what to multiplies, 63? Right. I'm trying to go out. What multiplies to... What, well, okay, well, because we said what multiplies to minus 15 and adds up to 2. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we now do do... What multiplies to 63 but adds up? No, adds no, up no, to dude. negative 16. Ratio, dude. Yeah, that's you. <sighs> oh, my God. You guys... So what, what multiplies to 63, but adds up to negative 16? 3 times 21 makes 63, but I don't think that makes... That doesn't add up to minus 16. No. Try some other factors. You should know, yeah, you should know your multiples, yeah. 63 is a special one. 63, is that weird 12 one? Or is that, am I going crazy? No. It involves a 9. 9 times what is 63? 9 times 7. Good. Okay, 9 times 7. Okay, but does 9 times 7, does 9 plus 7 add up to negative 16? Adds up to 16. Right, so we're going to say negative 9 and negative 7. Negative 9 times negative 7. That and, but negative five. 9, good, yes. Okay, so these are the factors on the top. So this becomes x minus 7, x minus 9. Luckily, that doesn't cancel any of these, okay? So you're good, right? And the good thing is, because plus or minus is pretty much just minus... Well, yeah, that doesn't fucking matter. But, like, the main big thing is, is, like, the factor on the top doesn't cancel any of the ones on the bottom. So these are where you have your discontinuity, and you're done. Good. Wait, so what do you do with the top after you is done? The you just have to check to make sure the top doesn't cancel any of the ones on the bottom. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. Oh, so you just have to... Wait, but what are you adding the top up to? Zero? Well? No, no, no. You're just yet. Yeah, you're just seeing if the. You're just seeing. You're just seeing if if any of the factors on the top, right? You see how this was x. Oh, this so was they x. Don't cancel out, so they don't cancel, be, right? Be because evil. for instance, if one of your factors down here was x minus seven, then that one would go away, and that one doesn't count. That's how that would work, yeah, right? But they don't. Away. 
Right. We have we we just said we we had x plus six, right? X plus six, and then we had x minus three, and we had x plus five. So all we had to do is figure out where these things were equal to zero. None of these canceled. You, you always have to factor the top to check it. Yeah, um, I wasn't today. Nice. It's okay, dude. Where is where is this kid weirdo void? Uh, let's see. Um, where is this? Where where is? Let me. How do I how do I how do I message him? How do I message this guy? Let's see if I can find him. So many dwee people in BC today. I know. Well, they all went to go play Warzone. <laughs> they want to play Warzone. Which... Is it Penguin that? Penguin I don't, but I don't see Penguin in the VC. You got to be in the VC for me to help you, or at least in the chat or something, dude. You got to, you got, you got to have, you got to have something in here. Uh, let me see who else. Grim has one. Ethan has one. Uh, and Bob. Okay, Ethan's here. Grim is not here. I'll pen Grim in a bit. I know he's playing Warzone right now. Who's one sec? Yes. Yeah, Ethan, we can do yours next. Because yeah, you're 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 right here. Where are you at? Oh, Ethan finally got a profile picture. Did he? Well, he yeah, hasn't had a profile did. picture this this whole time. His profile picture was the default Disco logo, both green. Oh, was it? Okay, that's cool. All right, Ethan, come in come in the VC so I can explain to you over like voice. I, I'm not. I don't want to do it over text. This is gonna be a hard one. Boom, 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 boom. I gotta go work on some stuff. I'm okay. All right, you're okay, dude. You, yeah, you, 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 you want to play Roblox with us? We're gonna play Roblox later. Yeah, I'll join up. Hello? Yeah. This thing I spent like my entire life working on today. Good, dude. I, I want to hear about it. Ethan, which one do you need help with? Number 11, I said. Number 11, this one right here. Okay, cool. This is a good one. This is a physics one. Okay. Um. Good. Is it physics? It is physics, yeah, because it well, it's it's math and physics because they're kind of like so physics has to deal with like things moving like back and forth and whatnot, and then like there's math because you have averages and stuff. Okay. 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 So uh, I'll call about my profile. So my profile um... Yeah, what's up with your profile? Is that Tails? Who is that? That's some guy yeah, from Sonic. Tails, Tails from Sonic, right? That's cool. No, I actually love it. It's cute. Yeah, this cute, dude. Yeah, look at this. He's yeah. got tails. He's got tails. He's got tails. <laughs> so I had a when I first joined. Oh, did no you? Account. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, and then here, I'll, I'll, I'll. Get, okay, here. Let's do. Let's, let's. Okay. Let's go to. Okay. Eleven. All right. So we have average speed and like distance. Okay. This is actually a very important thing. Um. Okay. Cool. Um, hello, weirdo void. Hello, yeah. Did you figure out how to? Sorry, I went. No, you're good. You're good. One sec. One sec. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Man travel 30 kilometers in a car at an average speed of this, and you return at an average speed of that. Find his average speed for the whole journey. Okay, this is cool. Okay, we have to know what, like, average speed is. Do, do you know what the definition for average speed is? There's there's an equation for it. Um, no. Okay. The total a speed, I guess? It's distance divided by time is what it is. That's what average speed is. It's it's total distance. And we should really say total distance divided by total time. Okay? Um, um. All right. So, um, right, good. Okay. So we need to figure out the total distance that he travels, okay? So he, here does it say, look, the man traveled 30 kilometers at this speed, and then he returns at a different speed, okay? So we know he's going 30 kilometers here at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour, right? And then he comes back the same amount of distance, right? Because he's going to return. So he's going to return the same distance, 30 kilometers, at 60 kilometers per hour. Okay? 
Mm-hmm. Does that, does okay. that make sense so far, Ethan? Okay. So, what was the total wait, 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 distance? Wait, wait, hold on. Yeah. Could you repeat that again? So he traveled right thirty kilometers, going one speed at forty kilometers per hour, right? So he traveled thirty kilometers this way, going at this speed. He then returns at a different speed of sixty, right? So he's coming back, and since he's returning, he's going to come back the same amount of distance, right? So he's going to come mm-hmm. back thirty at sixty, okay? So if he went 30 this way and he returns 30 this way, what is the total distance that he travels? Uh, I really have no idea. Okay, well, let, let's think about it. He travels 30. He comes back 30. How far did he go? 30? No, 30. 60? 60, 60. Yes, yes, you're good, dude. All right, good. Total distance is equal to 60, Okay. Yeah. 60 kilometers, okay? That's the first part that we need here to figure out average speed, right? I need the total distance you travel divided by the total time, okay? How much time it takes you. That's how we get average speed, you know? Um, okay, so he travels a total distance of 60 because he goes 30 this way and he goes 30 back, all right? Now we need to figure out how much time, how much time he takes in total to do this whole thing, okay? Um, uh-huh. Which... We can kind of use this information as well to, to figure things out. Okay. Do you know what the relationship is between speed, distance, and time? I've kind of already written it once. Speed, distance, and time? Yeah, speed, distance, um, and time. How are they all related? There's an equation that relates them. I have no idea. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you it. Speed is equal to distance divided by time. Okay, you, you need to know this, right? Speed, like how fast you're going, is how far you go divided by how long it takes you to do that, okay? Does that uh-huh. make sense, Ethan? Okay, all right, good. So we're going to use this equation to figure out how much time it takes for the trip going there and how much time it takes for the trip going back, all right? And then once we have that, <clears throat> we can figure out the total time it takes for him to do this. Okay. All right. All right. So let's let's try to figure out how much time does it take for him to go there. What what do we know about the the these things like the speed, the distance, and time going there? What do we know? You know that he went like what um thirty kilometers for Good. both ways. Good. But let's let's look just Ethan. Let's just look at this this trip, the first trip, him going there. Okay. Uh-huh. What distance does he travel? 30 kilometers. Good. Okay, we don't know the time, right? We don't know how long it takes him to get there, right? But we do know what speed does he travel at? 40 40 miles per hour or something. 40 40 kilometers per hour. Yeah. So this is 40. Okay. And this is kilometers. And then you 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 can almost write this. You can say 40 kilometers divided by one hour. Okay. That's what, like, kilometer uh-huh. per hour means. It means 40 kilometers divided by one hour, okay? All right. I want to figure out this, though, Ethan. I want to figure out how much time it took him to do that, that first trip. How, how do I do this with algebra? How do I figure out what time is here? Do you multiply? Multiply by what? Uh, I don't know. The across multiply or something? Yeah, you can cross multiply, which means we do this and this, right? Yeah. Okay. So I get 40, I'm oh, sorry, 40 times the time, right, is equal to 30 times 1, right? So what's the next thing I do? Mm-hmm. Wait, could you, re- could you say that again? So cross multiplying, right, means I do this. I multiply these ones together, right? These ones, 40 times time, and then I set it equal to this one times this one, right? Yes. You guys seen that method before? I think you guys call it like the butterfly method or something. Yes, that is true. Okay, good. How do you right. not know it? I I, I I just called it cross multiplying. You guys came up with like it's like an animal. Like I'm like what? Like, you know. <laughs> okay. What is so okay, so what what how do I solve here for time now? How do I get the time? This is algebra. Oh gosh, I I don't know. 
You do know this. Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan, bro. You've done this so many times. You know how to do algebra. How do I solve for time here? 40 times time equals 30. Do you combine them? Uh, not quite. What if I had this? What if I had 40x equals to 30? How do I solve for x? Do you put the 40 by the other side? Good. You divide 40 on both sides, right? Okay. You're going to do the same I thing here. I don't have a number. Then. You should. It's okay. I mean, it's, you know. You've done this so many times. Okay. So, time right. is equal to 30 over 40. What does 30 over 40 simplify to? Uh, 3 over 4. Good. So that's 3 over 4. Okay, and then what is the units for time? How What were we measuring time in? Kilometers. No, that's distance. The speed was kilometers per what? Per hour? Hour. You see how hour is a unit of time, right? Okay. So this this took three quarters of an hour. An hour. The time was in hours. Okay. All right. All right. Now we need to do it for the trip going back. Okay. Which was 30 kilometers at 60. So the same thing, right? Speed is going to be 60 kilometers over one hour. And that's going to equal the distance, right? The distance coming back is the same, 30 kilometers, um, divided by the time, which I'm going to solve for, okay? Same as last time. What do we do? Okay, do you, um, you find the, uh, the time he traveled? Or yes, the... we're good. We're do looking for this. You divide by 60 and one? Sorry? Do you divide it by 60 and then one hour? Uh, you could, you, if you want to divide by this on this side, yeah, but that, that'll make things complicated. We, we don't really want to do that yet. What, what if we do this? What did we do last no, time? I mean, I mean, like, cross multiply. Jeez. Good, yes, cross multiply, yes. Okay, good. So, do you see how this gets me? Like I didn't see the it's okay. So, I didn't see the, I didn't see the, the 60 over 1. Yeah, so we have 60 times time equals 30. What do I do? Next up. Divide both sides by 60. Good. Time is equal to 30 over 60, right? What's that going to be equal to? 3 over 6. 3 over 6. Which is the same thing as? 3 over 6. Yeah, what's this, What's 3 over 6 the same thing as? You know this, dude. Oh, 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 1 over 2. Yes, 1 over 2, dude. There you go, good. All right, cool. All right, so this took half an hour. Do we see that? Do we see that? The trip there took three quarters of an hour. The trip back took half an hour. All right. Okay. So now I can figure out my average speed, right? Because that's my total distance, right? Which we already figured out. That was 60, right? He travels 60 kilometers, okay? Divided by the total time, okay? This is where, like, we have to do, you know, a li little bit of math here, right? So if he travels three quarters of an hour in the first trip going there and half an hour coming back, What's the total time he traveled? An hour and 15 minutes. Good. Yes. Three, three quarters of an hour, right? That's 45 minutes, right? Half an hour is 30 minutes, right? So this is going to be, yes, one hour and 15 right. minutes, technically. But let's keep everything in terms of hours, yeah. right? In terms of hours, this is the same thing as 1.25 hours, right? Because 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour. You ever heard that where they say like it's a quarter to two, right? Or it's like quarter past three or something. Okay, fine. Okay, cool. Never heard right. it. You've never heard that before? You never heard everyone, someone say like it's a quarter past two or something? That's cool. Well, 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 yeah, that is cool. <laughs> He's like, that is cool. Yeah, Nick says I have. Yeah, right? Yeah. That's what it means because like four, 15 minutes is, is a quarter. That That's how that works, you know? Oh, one sec. I gotta change. I'm gonna change my, my calculator. Is not the not the right color. There we go. Better. Okay. Cool. So now, Gee. Ethan, Ethan, you can divide that. We can do the sixty divided by right the one point two five. Okay, and that's gonna give us a final answer, which is forty eight. Okay, so our final answer here is gonna be forty eight kilometers per hour. Okay. <laughs> Does that make sense? Does that make sense? 
It does. It does? Okay, good. I'm glad, I'm glad Ethan. So, Ethan, the important things here to, to remember, okay, is that um, speed is always distance over time, and average speed specifically, average speed is total distance divided by total time, okay? Right. That's the important thing to remember. So always remember that, and, you, and you'll be good. Cool? Yeah. All right, nice. Um, let me see. Who else has questions? Oh, Grim. Let me tag Grim. Let's see if he's done playing Warzone. Well, you know, um, I actually, I'm actually excited to get into Prestige too. What's what Prestige? Yeah, you're you're almost there, dude. Nice. Yeah, I think I think. Uh, who else is close? Um, uh, Teacup is close. Teacup's very close. He's in an intense one v one right now. What do you mean he's in a one v one? Are you guys playing Warzone two? Are you playing? Okay, whatever. All right, let me see if uh, Bob, Bob, question. Question time. Let's see, if Bob wants to do his question. Bob had a good question. I liked Bob's question. Bob always challenges me. Challenges oh. me with his questions. Like, what's up, Bob? Bob's here, dude. Hello. What's up? What's going on, Bob? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do Bob's question first, Grim, because apparently you were in a one v one. Wanna let that slide? Yeah, I'm gonna let Bro. that slide, dude. Yeah. Well. Uh. They they said you were in a one v one, dude. That's why. That's why I'm I was, not in a one v one. Okay, well let me do Bob's question. Bob's here. All right, Bob, what's up? Ping me when it's time. I'll ping you. What's up, dude? Okay, A B calculus. Two. He says many of these problems are especially challenging. That's cool. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna leave for now. All right, you're good. You're good, Ethan, dude. Yeah, I'll see you around, dude. All right. Um. Okay. Particle moves on the axis. Given by this function, okay, for t is from zero to two pi, great. Find the time t at which the particle is the farthest to the left. Justify your answer. Okay, so what does it mean for the particle to be the furthest to the left? What does that probably mean? Um. Well, wouldn't that technically mean just like time zero? Uh. So we want to find the. T well, well, we'll see if that's the answer. But you want to figure out where, for instance, like x x of t, right, is a minimum, right? That's what you want to check, okay. right? In order for something to be to the left, usually we say that something is like uh, negative, right? Right. Usually, if like we're defining things on the x and y axis, right, to the left here, right, is where x is like this is is the smallest. Yeah. Uh, or sorry, where where sorry, to the left. Sorry, sorry. This this is actually what I mean. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, I fucked this up. This is x of t. This is t. Okay. When something uh, along the x-axis with the position, okay, whatever, that's fine. They they try to screw with you here, man, because they say they they even screwed with me here because they said moves along the x-axis. I'm like, okay, cool, this is the x-axis, but no, it's it's like it's like it's like rotated is what it is because this axis is almost always the independent variable, right? Which is the, is the thing that's changing, right? In that case, it's t, right? And then x of t is like like the y value of the function, and so yeah, okay. They're screwing with you here. Whatever. But anyways, usually x of t being positive is is to the right, right? And it being negative yeah. is to the left. Okay, so I want to figure out where this is a minimum, okay? This goes back to um, uh, you've done this like finding critical points and, and whatnot, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find the critical points of this function, right? Which is uh, x of t is equal to e to the negative t sine of t. Okay, how do I figure out where critical points are? Um, I equal it to zero. You have the derivative equal to zero, is what you do. Uh, I you take, it. Yeah, you take the derivative of this function, and wherever the derivative is equal to zero, that's a possible min, max, saddle point, something. Something happens there, okay? So and we're just gonna check those points, all right? So first, we, we gotta take the derivative of this. Do you know how to take the derivative of e to the minus t sine t? Um, is it negative e to the negative t? Uh huh. And then cos t. So this is going to be a product rule because you have two things here, Bob, which which yeah. depend on t. You see how this depends on t and this depends on t. Mm -hmm. So technically, whenever whenever you have something where it's like a b and you want to take the derivative of that, that's like a prime b plus b prime a, right? Yeah. Take the derivative of one. Multiply by the regular, take the derivative of the, the second part, multiply by the regular, okay? So you're right. Mm -hmm. This is going to be negative e to the negative t, sine of t, right? We don't take the derivative of the second one. 
then the regular one, plus e to the minus t, and then this is the derivative of sine, yeah, is cosine of t. Okay? And we want to set this equal to zero. All right? Um, so, I mean, I would just move this over. Okay? So I have e to the minus t, cosine of t, or actually, hmm. Uh, I'm going to factor out an e to the minus t, actually. Th th that looks easier to factor this out. This is, this is, because if you have, like, two factors multiplying by each other, you just have to set each factor equal to zero. And it's, it's a little bit easier to do things like that. So if I pull out, right, the e to the minus t, I'm going to have e to the minus t times, right? And then this is going to be cosine of t minus sine of t is equal to zero. Do you see how I did that, Bob? Uh, yeah. See how this, this, this pulls out of both things and then there's a minus sign in front of the sign. So that's, that's why I put that here. And then mm -hmm. I just, I just rearrange this because it looks nicer if it's this minus this. Okay. All right. Good. So is there any value of T here, for instance, which is going to cause this to be equal to zero? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. Right. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Because it. I mean, technically there is. If it was e to the minus infinity, that would be equal to zero, right? Because e to the minus infinity is the same thing as 1 over e to the infinity, which is the same thing as 1 over infinity, which is zero. But infinity is not within our allowed values, our domain. Do you see here they say t is only allowed between 0 and 2 pi? Uh -huh. so, so, we, so you're right. That one, that one is not going to contribute to it. Okay, so I want to know when this thing is equal to zero, right? When this is equal to zero, that, then we're good, okay? So I'm going to say that, okay, cosine of t minus sine of t is equal to zero. So that's cosine of t is equal to sine of t. All right? Okay. Um, which uh, you, could, you could divide this through, right? If I divide both sides by cosine of t, I get that um, one is equal to, what's sine over cosine? Tangent. Tangent. Very good. Tangent of t. Okay. So here's the cool thing. So what values of what values of t cause the tangent of t to equal to one? Um pi over four. Good. There's another one. There's another one that does it. Which one? Um on the other side. Um three pi over four? Uh Wait, um, No, you're close. Across. You're close. I think it's five, 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 pi five, five, five over four. Yeah, good. Exactly. Because when you're in this quadrant and this quadrant, right, opposite over adjacent is the same, right? And then here it's negative, negative. Very good. Okay, cool. All right, so we've identified our critical values, right? So we have t is equal to pi over four or five pi over four, okay? Um, now, the next thing to do is to check them, right? So now we're just literally just going to like, we're just going to plug this into here and figure out which one has the most negative answer, okay? Okay. So if I plug in the pi over 4, for instance, I have e to the negative pi over 4, right? Which is just going to be something, right? And then I have okay. sine of pi over 4. Or I have e to the minus 5 pi over 4 times... Um, the sine of 5 pi over 4. Okay? Okay. What value is this going to give me? What What is sine of pi over 4 going to give me? Um, square root 2 over 2. Good. Um, cool. What will sine of 5 pi over 4 give me? Um, negative square root 2 over 2. Good. Do you see how this one will be smaller than this one? Because just by definition, you're going to get a negative, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So this one is not, you know, that's not the minimum. That can't be, right? This one probably is. It's in the running, right? But there's one thing we have to check. What do we have to check? Um, zero and two pi. Good. Yes, very good. You got to check the endpoints, right? But that becomes easy because, right, it's sine of zero is what? Um, sine of zero, that's one? Uh, no, sine of zero is zero. Zero. Yeah. Remember, remember that sine is opposite over hypotenuse, right, Bob? Yeah. And if, if for instance, we have like this, right, uh, and and then this is always like the opposite, right? 
opposite of hypotenuse. Do you see as this angle gets closer and closer to zero that the opposite basically goes to zero? Yeah. That's why sine of zero is zero because the opposite is basically zero. Yeah. Okay. Good. So these values we don't care about because these equal to zero. So the time t at which the particle is furthest to its left, that's going to be at t is equal to uh, 5 pi over 4. Cool? Okay. All right, let's get part yep. B here real quick. Uh, find the value of the constant A for which x of t satisfies the equation. Oh, fuck me. What? Uh, there's second derivatives in here too? Man, okay, whatever. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, that's okay, that's okay. We can do it. Um, here, let me put this on another page real quick. Okay. All right. Okay. So x of t is this. We already figured out what x prime of t was, right? x prime of t was um, negative e to the minus t sine of t plus e to the minus t cosine of t, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. x double prime. This is this is a huge pain in the ass. Do you see how like you have to do this again? Like you have to keep expanding yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. That's a huge time. Yeah. So this is e to the minus t, right? Sine of t. Mm -hmm. And then it's minus, but then derivative of sine, oh, it's, it's cosine. So it's minus e to the minus t cosine of t, right? And then this mm -hmm. one becomes minus e to the minus t cosine of t. Okay. And then it's uh, minus e to the minus t of sine of t, right? Or, no, no, yes, 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 yes yeah. Because derivative of cosine is minus sine. Um, we make sure I did that right, dude. That's 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 a pain. The minus sign gets pulled down. That's positive. Uh, we leave the minus sign. The cosine stays positive. E to minus t pull down the minus. Okay, great. Leave it. Pulls a pulls a minus. Okay, cool. All right. And then x of t right was just regular um, e to the minus t sine t. Okay, cool. All right, if we add all these together, and they, they're they putting an A in front of this one, okay? Do you see how all these are going to have an A constant? Um, yeah. Well, right off the bat, right, this one's going to cancel with this. So I like that. That's okay. Um, and then let's see if anything cancels here. Oh, do you see how E to the minus sine T minus E to the minus sine T, right? That goes away as well, right? Okay. And then this is a double, right? So I have negative 2A E to the minus T cosine of T, right? Plus, it doesn't it from the top and bottom too? Uh, no, because this one has an A in front of it. See how there's an A? Uh, okay. Mm. Yeah. Cosine T equals a zero. Okay. So this is, um, okay. So we can get rid of the E to the minus T's, right? Uh -huh. um, you can only really get rid of stuff as long as th this would not be equal to zero. Do you see if, like, if, I, if this could equal zero, I could get zero plus zero equals zero. That would be a valid solution. But remember that there's no way that e to the minus t can become zero. So that that we, we can just we can safely get rid of that. Okay. Okay. Um, so now I just have I'm going to move this over, right? Two a cosine of t equals the cosine of t. So the only value of a that this works for is what? A is equal to. Um, cos t over two cos t. Uh, not quite. Not quite. A h is equal to one half. Right. Do you see if A is one half here, you get two times one half, you just get cosine of T equals cosine of T. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Good job, Bob. Thank you. You're very welcome, dude. That makes that makes sense? That's a pretty good question, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Good, dude. Nice. This is going to be a struggle. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, I mean... Again, the key concepts here, Bob, is like, just remember, right, that if you're trying to find mins and maxes, find the first derivative, find out where it's equal to zero, plug in points, plug in endpoints, and you're good. The next one was kind of like, uh, you know, it was a little tricky. It's, it's a lot of algebra, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you're good. All right, let me see. Uh, you. You're very welcome, dude. Doctor, what's up? Weirdo, I'm weirdo. By the, hey, what's up, doctor? Okay, cool. All right, let's do, let's do... Doctor's question. Question number seven. He has the. Oh, this is a good one. I like this. This is really, this is really good. Oh, you're you're in Ethan's class, right? Doctor, is that, is that how this works? I think you're 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 in Ethan's class, yeah. Nothing. 
Nice. Dope. Okay, cool. Yeah, watch the Discord stream because it's, there's less lag on it than the than the Twitch. Um, but as long as you can type one out, you're good. It helps if you have a if you have voice. It's even it's even more helpful. But like, I understand not everyone has a mic or like wants to use their mic. But you know, let's get you your first one done. All right. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. You don't have to talk. Uh, as long as you can type. As long as you can type things that like don't make sense and whatnot, then I can help you. Cool. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, you need help with um, number, let's see. You need help with number seven, right? Okay. A third grade student contains three classes of 36, 33, and 31. In an examination, the average marks were this much, this much, and this much. What was the average for the whole third grade together? Ooh, this is a good one. This is a good one here. Grim, I'll do yours next. Don't worry, don't worry. I got you, Grim. Don't worry. Um, okay. Um, this is... Don't worry, don't worry. I got you, Grim. I'll get you after this one. Uh, <coughs> all right. Um, the average marks for the classes were this, this, and this. Okay. This is what's called a weighted average, okay? And I'll tell you how a weighted average works, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to do uh, the number in... I will. The number in the first class times the grade in the first class plus the number in the second class times the grade in the second class plus the number in the third class times the grade in the third class. And then you're going to do all of that divided by the number in the first class plus the number in the second class plus the number in the third class. Has your teacher ever shown this to you, doctor? Or like, do you know what a weighted average is? Yeah, in one example. Okay, cool. Yeah, the re the reason being here, like, for instance, if if a bunch of people, like, let's say that like one person gets gets a gets a one hundred, but let's say that like fifty people, right, get a seventy five, right, the average is not going to be just a one hundred and a seventy five. It's going to be more like a seventy five because fifty people getting a bad grade like that is gonna is gonna move the average down a lot more. Um, and so, yeah, this is the equation for how it works. Okay. So let, let's put our numbers in. So for instance, how many people were in the first class? <laughs> 36. Very good. And what, what was their grade? What was their average grade? Sixty five. Good. Very good. How many were in the second class? 33. What was their grade? 56. Very good. How many were in the third class? 31. Good. And their grade? 52. Very good, dude. Nice. Okay. So now we have all those. And then these numbers, right? These are just the numbers in the class, which is just 36 plus 33 plus 31. Okay. So, uh, I can use my calculator for this. So let's, 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 let's do our handy dandy calculator. Well, here, I got to zoom this out a little bit. Uh, let me move this over. Okay. Do you guys use calculators like this, doctor? Do you, do you have like a TI calculator like this? I know it's probably not actually gold, but you know, does it, do you use this type of calculator? We can, but I don't use it. Yeah. It's a good thing to use. Once, once you get into like higher level of high school classes and definitely college, they use a lot of this types of calculators. So the reason why I have this on the stream is so you can see what buttons I press in order to do things so that when you have to do it on a calculator like this, like it, it makes sense. Um, so I'm going to do the first, let's do, let's do the first uh, set of stuff on, on, on the top, right? So that's going to be 36 times 65 plus 33 times 56 plus 31 times 52, okay? And that's going to get me a number on the top. And that's going to be the 5,800, okay? So we know that um, we're going to do like top divided by bottom. So that's 5,800, okay? 
and then the bottom, right, is adding up everyone who's in all the classes, right? So that's 36 from the first class, plus 33 from the second class, plus 31 from the third class. So that's going to be 100. Ha! We don't even need a calculator for this one, actually. Okay. Uh, how do I do this one, doctor? How do I do 5,800 divided by 100? I don't need a calculator for this. This is actually, this is actually pretty cool. The top is being divided by the bottom. Yep, yep. You may have not learned this, but here's a special rule. If you have like zeros here and zeros here, you, you can cancel the zeros. Um, so yes, good. So I can cancel this zero with this zero, right? And then I can cancel this zero with this zero, right? And you see how I just get 58 over one, which is just gonna be 58, right? Yeah, good. So then, yeah, that that's it, doctor. That's that is what the average mark for all the third grade. It was a fifty-eight, which honestly isn't a good good score. Like you don't want to have a fifty-eight in the class. Like, <laughs> like you don't want a fifty-eight. No, no fifty-eights here, please. <laughs> yeah, that really isn't good. It really isn't. Yeah, yeah, nice. So, doctor, you get a bond coin for for asking a question, which is. I, maybe Ethan's told you about it, but like once you get 10 bond coins, uh, I buy you a $10 gift card and then you can get even more bond coins to get even bigger prizes and whatnot. So you're halfway there. You already got five. That's really cool. You would be able to calculate your grade average with this method. Yes, actually, Doc, that, that's a very, very cool thing. Um, while I wait for Grim to come back. Uh, so a lot of times your grades, Doctor, right? Let, let's say, for instance, you're going to have... Um, Grim is back. Yes. Okay. Good. 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 All right. Grim is here. So add my grades and divide by how many grades there are. Yes. Unless they're weighted differently. Doctor, that's a good question. Ask during the next office hours about how to do, for instance, like, because test. I want, I want test, to be the first person. In, I want to be the first person in the world to get the lowest GPA ever. Don't do that, dude. <laughs> but doctor, that was going to be in the negatives of GPA. Yeah. Doc, <laughs> doctor, ne you next office hours. Ask me next office hours, do doctor, about like how, for instance, doctor, to do. Disrespect. To do to do things when when like they're weighted differently, like when tests are sixty percent, quizzes are thirty yeah, percent, and homeworks are ten percent. Like there's a different way to do that that I can show you, and it, it's pretty cool. Oh, I got a real life it. Yeah, it is pretty cool actually. It is pretty cool. Yeah. You know what yeah. else is cool? Me. What else is cool? Me. Be nice, Grim. Be nice, Grim. Oh, well, what right. I do? Uh, huh? Yeah. I I have to preemptively ask you to be nice. <laughs> What? Yeah. Oh my god. Hey, yeah, what was hey, that yo. sound? Yeah, that was me like. That was your mom. That was what? No, stop. <laughs> Skill issue. Skill. That was your mom snorting on my. <laughs> I'm not going to finish that. Yes. All right, you're very welcome, doctor. Nice, dude. Uh, yeah, come come back to the, to the next. Anytime you have questions, dude, about your classes and whatnot, like, I'm here, dude. I'm helping you guys out. I'm free, you know, for now. So <laughs> come, 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 get, come get help. Let me help you with your classes. What? Dude, by the way, good. by the way. Gold, up, if, if possible, I prefer not to do the whole page because I'm gonna Sawyer's gonna like I gave Sawyer uh, that picture too so that he could um like I don't know he's apparently gonna do an experiment for a math education system or something. Oh okay. I don't know. Wait wait so Sawyer yeah, gave so this to you or like what? No, I sent that Who's to Sawyer, Sawyer because he wanted to prep. Sawyer's the guy doing he the said, the the, the reading challenge. He said for my time I'll get an extra ten dollar gift card. I'm pretty sure I'm we're gonna do it tomorrow. That's tough, I don't dude. Know. Uh, here, actually, let me read it. Let me read the thing. Grim, I got a revive. He so. said, "I did too." Um, but um, he said, right here. Um, blah blah blah. I'm sensing that next week is better. So, uh, so alternative idea. All, all, uh, as you all know, I'm experimenting with education and co uh, concepts, and I'm trying to research uh, to do research on this one math idea. I'm trying to test our prototype and need some high schoolers to try it out. Any of you have 30 minutes sometime today? I'll throw in an extra $10 gift card for your time. Wow, extra $10, dude. Sawyer's getting on the $10 gift card game to get kids to like do math and stuff. I'm about that. Yeah. Good job, Sawyer. <laughs> He's stealing your job, Gold. He's stealing my ideas, dude. It's fine. Only, yeah. only, do, only doing it better, honestly. Is he doing it better? Get, does he? Does he have a better Discord yeah, than me? He, what do you mean? He's, he's giving a ten dollar gift. Oh, whoa! Wow. What? 
Are you good? What's up? No, What's no, good? he's getting like his ass beaten right now. So. Oh, dude, I thought you wanted to do math questions, dude. I, 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 I am if, doing math if, questions. If you're, if you're playing Warzone, I dude, I can't help you if uh, you're playing yeah. Warzone. But yeah, like, um, what's it called? He's doing, um, so like, he's giving uh, $10 gift card on the first thing, bro. First try. Like, oh, yeah. Well, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I have I have a lot of students that, like, I'd go really fucking broke if I, if I did that. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's a good uh, thing. They're nearby. That... Grim, they're nearby. Okay, nice. No. Write the equation uh, of a parabola. Wow, dude, this is hard, dude. What? He he's expecting he's expecting you to do this. She. Why? Oh my God! It's, what's with you with the gender assuming? Honestly, like honestly. Sawyer's a dude. I know Sawyer's a dude. I've talked to Sawyer. No, 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 no. Knock like, one, knock one, knock one, knock one. Up no, here, up, I, up, I, up, I sent that paper to Sawyer. Okay. Where where did this paper come it's from? It's from my algebra two class. This is from your algebra two class. Yeah. This is, this is intense. Okay. Um, Everything I do in algebra two is intense. Okay. So yeah, here's some equations. That's cool. Um, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you know what? This this is actually pretty cool, Grim. We don't we don't we don't need um we don't need uh we don't need to do it this way. I can I show you another way to do it, and 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 then I sure. think you should get the same answer. Okay. So a parabola has this has this equation it has this. Parabola. Parabola, it's not parabola, dude. No, parabola. I, no, parabola. Okay, it's well, what I call it. It's my paper. It's what I call oh, it. Oh, fine, dude. All right. Y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. This, this y is the. Is AX oh God, B dude. Why am I here myself, dude? No, don't do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, y equals ax squared, squared plus okay. bx plus c. Okay. Which question are we doing? Oh, We're doing one. the whole thing. The whole thing is is this is the whole question. I'm just gonna show you how to do it one way, and then he's gonna show you how to do it the other way. Oh, there's okay? like, there's like, multi okay, okay. All right. So, okay, this is the equation of a parabola, whatever you want to call it, dog. Um, okay. And what I know is that um, for certain values here, right, for x and y, that this equation sorts out. So what they're doing is they're plugging in the first point here, right, negative 1, comma 4. What is negative 1? You called it a parabola? Neg it's a parabola. Yes, I called it parabola. What is negative one? What is that? Is that x or y? Neg negative one is um is gonna be. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be that's the h, I believe. What? No, stop. No. Oh wait, wait. No, that's, no, no. that's it's x. a point. It's a point. This is x. It's x. Okay. Good. I mean, what is what is point. what is four? Four y. Yeah, y. Good. Do you see how you can plug that into this equation here? You can plug in four for y. You can plug in minus one for x. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what they get here is they get this equation, right? They say four is equal to, right? And then it was x squared. So that's negative one squared is what? Negative one squared is um negative one squared. No. Um no, here, let me think. Negative, negative one. What is uh, negative one squared? Negative one squared. Is, Anyone in the chat oh, want to tell like me what point? negative one squared like is? A point. Point. No, dude, bro. What is negative one times negative one, dog? Oh, negative one times negative one, that's positive one. Jesus Christ. Yeah, okay, good. You should have just said that. That's what I asked. Dude, I asked what's negative one. Thank you, oh, Nick. Yeah, Nick no, got no, it. No, no. Yeah, good job, Nick. Shut up, Nick. <laughs> no, I <laughs> chill, dude. All right, so then you, plug, you plug in X here for B, so that's minus B, and then you have plus C. Okay, do you see how this is an equation here? 4 equals A minus yeah. B plus C? Yeah. Okay, but this is an equation with three things that I don't know, right? I don't know these three things. Okay, so what do I need in order? What do I need more of in order to figure out what these variables are? What do I need? You need more of to figure out uh, four four equals a minus uh, minus, minus b, b plus c, plus right? Okay, yeah. That's three unknowns. If I have three unknowns, how many equations do I need? Uh, you need two, uh, three. Three, good. The total number of things you don't know, you need at least that many equations. Okay, that that's why they give you three points. Okay. What's the second equation? The second equation is um we're, we're doing um we're doing uh what's it called the first box right? Well, the first box okay so, so we had we had three points, Grim, right? I used yeah. the first point to get an equation. Now I'm going to use the second point to get a different equation. Okay. Okay. So what's that equation going to be? The first point. Uh, no, we already the did the first point. point. We're going to do the second oh, the point. Second point. The second point. The second point is negative one. 
No, it's zero comma one. This zero is the second point. Where, second point. That? I don't see it. Right here. Oh, dude. that. Yeah, these are the I points. I thought we though. were in the first box. No, dude, fuck the boxes, dude. Like we're we're just gonna do it my way. All right. <laughs> okay. Do you see how um, we have three points? We have three points. Each yeah. one of these points is gonna give me a different equation. Okay. Okay. All right. Use the next set of points to get me another equation. Um, two seven. Where are you getting two seven from? From the third one. No, no, the second one. I said do. I said do this one. I said do do this point and give me an equation. Okay, zero one. Uh huh. So that's gonna be y equals. Um, what is what is y? X squared. Good. A know. squared plus b x plus c. What is y? Yeah. Y is one. Good. So I'm gonna do one is equal to right because it's y yeah. equals a x squared plus b x plus c because this is the general form of a parabola. Parabola. Okay. Parabola. Okay. So what's the rest of this shit gonna be? The rest of that, it's gonna be a x. Wait, wait. A x squared plus b x plus c. Mhm. What's x? Zero. Okay. So what is it gonna be? I mean, it's gonna be a a um parentheses zero squared. Good. Um, B parentheses zero squared. Uh huh. Plus not C. not squared because it's not x squared. It's just x, right? I'm, plus I C. I mean, yeah. Right. Good. So it's zero times a plus zero times B plus C. Okay. Yeah. All right. What about this one for two seven? Two seven. Uh, two. Look at seven equals mm -hmm. the, um two. Um, a plus... It's not 2A. It's not 2A. Oh, no, it isn't? It's AX squared. Oh, AX squared plus B. No, no, but what's X? So, what's X? So what's X? That means, that means um, 2X squared, uh, 2A squared. No. Put a down the war squared. zone, Graham. Put down the war zone, dude. I can tell you're distracted. Not, you can't you're not you, on it. He's not even no, on it. How do you not get at this? What are you doing, dude? I know you can do this. You're not this retarded. Bro, Come on. It's A. <laughs> It's A. It's Go before ahead. or after A. Fine. A X squared. What is X? A X squared. X is two. I said that. Good. So what I is said A two squared? Oh, okay. No, you said two A squared is what you said, but it's okay. No, right. I said I said A. I said two things. Two A squared or A two squared, because I knew it was one of those. Okay. Fine. A two. But what 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 is two squared? Two squared. Uh huh. Uh, that's four. Thank you. Wait, no. Yeah, actually, yeah. So 7 equals 4A plus what? Don't worry. I put down the words for now. Thank you. 4A four, four plus B, uh, B2. So 2B. 2B, yeah. Plus? And then plus C. Good. Okay, cool. All right. This is a systems of equations, okay, which... We can a teacup probably knows this. Um, this this is this is we can use the matrix. For, so we have we have three equations here. I have four is equal to one a minus one b plus one c. Right. I have one is equal to zero a um, plus zero b plus one c. Okay. And then I have seven is equal to four a plus two b plus one c. Okay. Do you see how I have three equations here? <coughs> three equations and I'm trying to solve for like yeah. three different variables here. Okay. You can use you can convert this into a big matrix, okay? Does anyone remember how the matrix works? Do you remember yes. how like what numbers I put in there? What do I what do I do? Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate. Shut up. You know my my roommate yes. has like like chilled with Andrew Tate, like had dinner with him and like and stuff. <laughs> Yo, God, at this point, you know, you basically know everyone in the world. I do, yeah. Shit. I have like, I, I, I am two de degrees of separation from Andrew Tate. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm my, see you take a picture of him. my former roommate, one of my best friends, was it was roommates with the Fresh and Fit podcast guys, Myron, uh, or sorry, what's his name? No, Walter. Walter was his roommate. So, uh, and he was there before they even became big and whatnot. So yeah, it's easy. It's kind of cool. Um, I see proof. <laughs> well, I'll show you. I'll show you proof. It's okay. But okay. Um, Holy shit. <laughs> um, okay. So how? What do I do to convert? I'll show you the proof after you guys get this question right. I'll show you my, my roommate and and all the fresh and fit stuff. 
how do I how do I, how do I wrong. well then I don't know we'll figure it out okay how how do I convert this into like a matrix form um four would be a good I'm so I'm next gonna, well no no so four, you're you're gonna take these numbers I'm gonna go four well two, here let, let, one four one, two, one. Two, one, two, and then and then one. this one, and then it's equals seven. Okay, that's zero. what I'm gonna do. Okay, zero, zero, Good. one equals one. Good. Four, uh, one, Good. one, one equals no, one. One minus one. There's a minus here. Minus, oh, yeah, minus one. one. Negative one. You mean? Wait, was it negative one? Yeah, it was negative yeah, one. Okay. It's... One negative one, one four. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah. Last step uh, is to plug is it in. Put this shit in the calculator. So I'll show you how you do that. The gold, um, calculator. the gold calculator. Uh, you go to second matrix. You go to edit, uh, and then we're gonna make this bitch a four by three, I think. No, three by four. I always fuck this up. Three by four. Okay, and then you're gonna put stuff in. So I'm gonna put four, two, one, seven, zero, zero, one, one, one. Negative one, one, four. Okay, and then here's the voodoo magic. You just go down here to. Uh, there's a math command here. Where is it? It's not come sum. It's R R E F. Come sum. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 it stands for cumulative sum. That's what it stands for. <laughs> it's real. I can uh, do that. <laughs> you do R R E F, and then you do it of the matrix you just created, which is this three by four here, right? And then this is cool. This is going to give you an answer. So this ends up getting us. So it's um, let me see. It's two negative one one, right? Okay. So it's one zero zero that zero one zero that zero zero one that. Okay. So now okay. let's 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 translate this into like something real. What, what, what does this mean, right? Let's remember, that right? It's one a. Good. A. Good a. One a. Zero b. Zero b. Zero c. So I don't even care. So it's just it's just a. Is equal to. Because remember, yeah, like, the, remember this was the equals, right? Okay. One then, is equal. Uh, uh, B is equal to negative one. C is equal to one. Yes, dude. Yes, good. So your final equation is y equals two x squared minus x plus one. Because remember, it was y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. There you go. Yeah. That's how you do it. Congrats, okay. Grim. Thank you for coming to Office Hours, guys. We're going to go play recess now. Um, thank you for coming, blah, blah, blah. No, not in that <laughs> way, by the way. But, um, in that, in that, yeah. Not in that way, he says. <laughs> Here, I'll show you I'll show you my roommate on, on, uh, on Fresh and Fit. I'll show you. Yeah, I'm, we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna see this, uh, his roommate real quick. And then um, we're, then we're going to go play some Roblox. Yeah, we're going to go for a skill issue. Here, this Was is... Was that me? <clears throat> yeah, this is him. This is this is my boy Casey. This is my this is my roommate Casey. Bringing him. You're showing status a Ooh, bit the, with your spot. Uh, the the white social. guy. Yeah, the white guy. Like, I th okay. there's a lot of black <laughs> pop. <laughs> and yeah, this so is especially him. like you know Korean guys, but any Asians uh, they do extremely well. It's it's just like a lot of girls. Do you have any pictures that like of him? Like, they just like corners and of course. This is something else uh, we didn't get to the talk the about. Tate. But this whole uh, you know, the a guy with a jawline and perfectly Shut up, symmetrical Shaq. face. You are That's more of a Western G. thing. He's got pictures of All Top right. G. And if you go through All this, right, like, later. but anyways, yeah, that that's 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 my friend. That's my roommate Casey there. Obviously, that's me. So you know. holy shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. However, however, I haven't seen hey, I haven't seen Casey or whatever. His if name you go is. through, the, if you go through, there's an Andrew Tate episode here. Uh, I forget what it is. It's. Uh, I'd have, there's one where, like, some dude is, like, coming into, like, there's, like, you know they always throw people out of this show all the time or whatnot? But it's one of the ones Andrew Tate's on here where some guy's getting thrown out and my roommate here has to kick the guy out. And he's in, he's in the video. Like, so they, they yeah. Can you ask your friend if he can show you a pic with him and Tate for your students? Sure. I'll ask. I'll ask him. I'll ask him later w. today for that. Yeah. But yeah. But yeah. It's real. And tell Tate. And tell. Uh, no, ask him to record a video and to, <laughs> to, 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 uh, to us and uh, say the, uh, hello, actual vacation. Oh, that's that. too funny, yeah. dude. Yeah. I don't know if yeah, I can. Yeah, dude, yeah, apparently, yeah. like, no, he's like public enemy number one, dude, or something. Apparently. And, and not my enemy. He's, he's like my enemy. He's like, honestly. I know. I know. I have proof. 
if I have proof of the top G saying hi to our community, that'd yeah. be amazing. That'd <laughs> maybe, be amazing maybe right there. Maybe I'll ask him. Maybe I'll ask him. I'll ask him for him to get a shout out. I, I probably need to be. I probably. I'd probably get probably canceled for that or something though. Like, because Andrew Tate does yeah. say some like he says some worrying things that like I don't know. You know, like, he says some truth, yeah, but then that he would get, probably give us attention. So. It would. Yeah. It would. But like, I'm a nonprofit. I'm trying to like. I'm trying to like. I gotta maintain some oh, sort yeah. of like image. Well, like, you know. Just like, like, just, just do it. Like, please, any, please. Any, I know, I know. Any, the, stu uh, the students you have are begging you. Yeah, I know. I know, dude. We want the top G to acknowledge us. The top G to acknowledge us. <laughs> yeah. You guys are funny, Yeah, they're dude. like, they're like, there's like 8 billion um, people in the world. And if we're one of the, <laughs> one, wow. we're one of the 8 billion. If oh, we're wow, the, dude. If we're one of the 8 billion, the then it's going to be amazing. What would be the best thing ever, dude? What would be the best thing ever, be the best thing ever dude? If you can get your friend to make Andrew Tate record a video saying happy birthday to me. Wow, dude. Oh, my God. My That's birthday like... is literally in a couple of days, too. That so, would actually so be many, so fire. So many possibilities. Oh, yeah. my God. It's, it's making me shit. No, if that actually happens, I would cry. Honestly. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll just I'll just get lunch with him or something, and I'll, I'll you know, talk. I'll, I'll have him, like, shout you guys all out or something. My birthday is in a couple Oh, of my days. God. That'd be it's amazing. too funny that you guys love you love Andrew Tate so much. I'm just like, what? Like, that's because Andrew apparently, Tate is like a role model. For apparently, us. yeah. Oh, apparently, please. apparently, like all the school districts hate him though. Apparently, like they're having like teach their they're having to tell the teachers like how to deal with kids who like listen to Andrew Tate or something. I'm like, what? Screw them. That's because, <laughs> that's because of the Matrix and everything. Bro. That's because of the Matrix. Have, like, He's like, because we're red pilled. All right. Anyways, thank you everyone for coming to office actual education office hours. Uh, we're gonna go play some games in recess. If you want to come play some Roblox with us, stay in the, the stream, uh, and you'll get transported to actual gaming, the other stream where we I'm play video games. I'm about it. It's making, it's making me so warm. Oh, uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Anyways, uh, and, okay, we're streaming all next week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'll announce when we're doing the the, the, the prizes and stuff, but I'll what see are, you guys in game. What are, what are we doing? Please get your friend to say, to make Andrew <laughs> say happy birthday to me, bro. I'm wow, dude. Cry. Wow, dude. Well, that's too funny. Everyone. Maybe I, need to, maybe I need to go on the Fresh and Fit podcast, dude. Maybe I need to go on the show, dude. True, yeah. for real. Yeah. Like that'd, that'd be, be kind of funny. It would be kind of funny, wouldn't it? Yeah, you can um, have the podcast. I want Andrew Tate's happy birthday to be there. <laughs> I know, dude. Uh, <laughs> okay, so what are we playing? Uh, well, well we where's Rand, dude? Lathyrus. Where's Rand, dude? Didn't Rand want to play we could, something? We could play Project Lathyrus. It's called. It's a game of like you know Call of Duty Zombies. Yeah. It's like that. It's on, but it's on. It's on Roblox. Yeah, it's on Roblox. Okay. What yeah. is Ron? Is Ron a class rep? Let me, uh, let me... He's an associate. Oh, oh, oh! By the way, guys. By the way, guys. I have some very sad news. What's what's your sad news? Ari is no longer gonna be on Discord. Why? Oh, what yeah, happened? News, news, what happened, dude? What? She get banned off of Discord? She... What happened? No, she. Her mom looked through her phone and saw a bunch of depressing shit, and now she's getting a therapist, and she's not allowed to have Discord. What? W, w mom. W mom. Yeah. W Doesn't she know that? Like, w that's what we we try to. I try to help people with this Discord. What? Like what?